Well, hello there, girls and guys. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Riddler's Mindworm, which is a new mount for Legion. You have to be a level 110, and it really helps if you're a mage or you can party up with a mage because there's a lot of different places all around Azeroth where you're going to have to go and find these hidden little pages of this riddle. It is a really cool little like scavenger hunt thing and it leads to a mount. There are eight pages total that you have to find and then you have to find the treasure chest that contains the mount. So there is some work involved but never fear I can show you exactly where all eight pages and the end chest is. So if you like this video remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start out in Dalaran. We need to go to the Ledger Demand Lounge, and the first page is on the second shelf of this bookshelf. Now we need to take a portal to Stormwind and fly over to Duskwood. One very important thing that you need to remember is that you have to find all of the pages in this exact order. It will not work if you get them out of order. So please follow this absolutely carefully. When we reach Duskwood, we need to go to Twilight Grove. There's this little sunken area that is kind of like, reminds me of a night elf area. We need to go over to this little well and page two will be on this little table here. All right, it's back to Stormwind where we need to take the portal over to Mount Hygel. Once we arrive in Mount Hygel, we need to fly down to the Firelands. You do have to do the entire raid once you get to the Firelands because you have to be able to get the page where Ragnaros is at. This edge too soon now will be come too soon. Page 3 is over here by this little side to the left of where Ragnaros spawns. Now remember, if you've already done this raid this week, you won't be able to do it again. So make sure that you go through this process at a time when you haven't already done the raids for that particular week. Okay, it's back to Stormwind again, and this time we're going to take the portal to Oldham. We need to come here down to the southeastern shoreline. They can't join our group. And page four is right here in between these two palm trees. Somebody needs a mage portal. Be right back. They can't join our group. Okay, now we're off to Pandaria. Where we're gonna fly to Mogoshan Palace. Fly down here to the bottom, and there's the opening to the raid, which is the Siege of Orkrimmar. Their life-giving energies flow through you. Once again, you will have to do the whole raid to get to the vault. However, you're really only going to like about the third boss or something. The corruption is amplifying. So it's not like you're really doing the entire raid. You're just doing the Pandaria section of it. You aren't completing it all the way to Orgrimmar. And page four is over here in this little cove on the floor. Now we are headed back to Dalaran, where we need to go into the Chamber of the Guardian. Once in here, there will be a portal to the Caverns of Time. When we arrive at the Caverns of Time, we need to go down to the center and then find the entrance for the Well of Eternity. Enter this dungeon, but you don't have to do the whole dungeon. The artifact is surrounded by an aura of darkness. 
You do need to get to where the final two bosses are. Oh, this will be fun. But you don't actually have to kill them. Wait. I have an idea. Just grab the page off of the stairs here. Now we're headed back to Pandaria, where we're going to go to Kunlai Summit. Page 7 is down at the feet of this statue. Just click on it and you're good to go. Back to Stormwind. For page 8 we have to go back to Oldham, but this time we're going to the Halls of Origination. At the Steps of Fate there is another statue, and once again the page will be at the statue's feet. Click on it and we are done. Time to go find our chest. And finally, back to Stormwind. We're going to fly to Westfall. Once we arrive in Westfall, go down the coastline until you reach the part where there is sinking ships and lots of merlocks. <coughs> that was a terrible impression. <coughs> I wanted to do an impression of a merlock, but I just can't. Anyway, there's our chest. Let's click on it. And yay, we got the mount. Learn the mount and it'll be in your mount book. Here it is. It's kind of an ugly thing, but hey, it's one more mount to add to your collection, right? It serves as both a flying mount and a ground mount. I do kind of like the movements that it does, though. What do you think? And that's it. Congratulations on your new mount. Enjoy. So there we go. Now you have a new mount and it only took me from start to finish one hour and 40 minutes, but that included a lot of other side things and having to pause for different reasons. So it would actually take you a lot less time if you didn't have all those distractions. Also, you do have to account for the time that it takes to do the raids. The Firelands raid have to basically do the whole thing. You can skip the trash, but you have to do all of the bosses because the page is where Ragnaros is and you can't unlock him until you've done the rest of it. So that one does take a little bit longer, but if you're a 110, it doesn't matter anyway. You're one-shotting everybody. So the raid in Pandaria, which is the Siege of Orgrimmar, you only have to get to like the third boss and you don't have to do the rest of it. Just get to that one room and then you're good to go. And for the uh, Well of Eternity, you do kind of pretty much have to go through the whole thing because it's there at the end, but um, it's a dungeon and it's low level, so um, once again, not a big deal. You can get through it pretty fast. I think that's it. The rest of it is just flying around, knowing how to get to different places. Um, fortunately, they put it in a lot of places where people have portals to anyway, like Caverns of Time and Dalaran and Uldum and uh, what else? Pandaria. And of course you can use the Stormwind portal to get to Westfall and Duskwood. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really simple. It's just a little time consuming, but if you think about it, an hour and a half for a mount is no big deal. So it's actually a really good time investment, at least in my opinion. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to subscribe, share, and give it a thumbs up. So that's it. Have a great day. Bye.